double to <laughs> drawing shows would allow trains to communicate with railroad stations. Boats could talk to the lighthouse. I became the head of the American Marconi Company, and I saw the wireless telephone as Stubblefield did, talking to millions of people all at the same time on a national broadcasting system. You've probably heard of Stubblefield, Marconi, Farnsworth, and Sarnoff. Well, today in the studio, we have a man who's just as great as the men I just named. Thank He's you. ready to play you the know. second part of the game, Flip Flop, a game that can only be played by the highly intelligent, a person that has the mental capacity to change his character and inventive mind into one of the men I, I just mentioned. I want you to picture yourself walking up to a blackboard with a spotlight on it. On the bottom of the blackboard, you see some chalk. See the chalk? Mike is a you good subject matter. His right arm automatically commenced drawing the diagram of an electromagnetic transmitter that could broadcast voice and pictures. On the word flip-flop, he pictured himself as N.B. Stubblefield. You can see on your screen what Mike sees in his mind's eye. It's the original handwritten application for patent of the wireless telephone, dated April 5, 1907. He now sees in his mind's eye the wireless telephone I'd bury my pride and pictures me as the voice being transmitted in a red striped jacket, being attracted to a, an electric current. To prove it you alone I care for Each night I say a little prayer for Just one more chance just one more night. It was back in early 1882 that I first realized that to send a voice, I would need an electric transmitter that would send a continuous stream of electricity. A spark-generated electric current didn't work. It was Nathan B. Stubblefield who invented an electrolytic battery that would send a continuous stream of electricity. If it was a spark, it would look and sound something like this. But that was Doublefield's patented secret, way back when in 1882. The electromagnetic waves emitted from his electric ground batteries were attracted to and combined with the voice coming from the singer. The sound would then be carried by an aerial that transmitted the electricity and sound through space to a receiver. But now I'm back to cry my heart out For just By 1915, the wireless radio telephone broadcasting theory defined in Stubblefield's all-in-one radio patent was ascertained. It was Philo Farnsworth's idea to have a camera that would reflect the motion picture to a light-sensitive surface located inside the camera that would emit a stream of electrons. The ingenious part of my TV camera divided the picture up into lines of light and shade that could be read like words on a page, a rapidly changing electromagnetic field that would scan the picture line by line. The electrons collected at the far end of the camera tube would then form a stream of electric pulses that would be transmitted through space by the antenna. I've learned the on the receiving end, a special antenna connected to the television set would attract the electromagnetic pulses sent by the camera. The pulses would then be converted back into a series of lines and a facsimile of the picture would be reconstructed on the television screen. You'd give me just one more word. I said that I was glad to start out. But now I'm back to cry my heart out You know me For just Yes, I do I'm gonna hand you A photograph On a sheet of paper Forty-five photographs Point Shandu's identity <gasps> That's Shandu When I was a young man working for the Marconi Company, 
I saw wireless communications as Marconi did by telegraphy it does from one point to another point or to one person at a time when I got older I became the head of the American Marconi company and I saw the wireless telephone as Stubblefield did talking to millions of people all at the same time on a national broadcasting system and that was the origination of wireless broadcasting talking to millions of people at the same time Today the voice streams through space over wires within the ethernet of your computer from the super highway.